Hey guys, Matt here from Six Ages Gaming, bringing you the last unboxing. Today we have the Final Fantasy XIV starter, and this is one of the ones that probably most people have been excited about. Getting some love from XIV, talking about the Scions, and uh, probably one of the better ones. Sorry for the bump there. So, same as always, just going to kind of quickly unbox it, go through some of the effects, talk about all the sweet new borders that they have for some of the reprints that we've seen in this set, uh, and then... You know, in the future, we'll probably do a upgrade series, kind of like what um, we've seen in the past with, oh, if you bought this starter deck, here's how you can improve it. And we'll go from there with uh, some of the upgrades. So as all, oh, these ones are very sticky. Um, as always, we're just going to go through it and talk about the starter cards first, and then as they go on. So as we saw in the front, we have Minfilia, four cost EX burst backup. And there's a field, search for one job, sign the seventh dawn forward and add it to your hand. Um, interesting is there a second part, put it in the break zone, choose one for opponent controls and break it. You can only use this ability if you have five or more job scion at seventh dawn. So very quickly we can see that we're going to build a scion deck and she does a very good job at getting you, getting you to the condition for her second effect. So if you're playing this kind of deck and obviously it's going to be an earth lightning, this is going to be an automatic staple. And as always you're going to get three copies of all the starter cards, which thank you Square Enix for doing that, so you only have to end up buying one. And then we have Ida, another uh, Cyan, of course, 2 drop, 4, 2,000. For each job sign, the 7th on all the needed controls, gains plus 2,000 power. So again, very much like the Cadets deck, it's going to be very focused around their jobs. When it attacks, choose 1 doll for opponent controls, deal it damage equal to half of Ida's power. And of course, you're running down. So a great card that, if we consider things like Titan and Carbuncle, or even Kefka in a pinch, the Earth is known for having plenty of ways to boost the power, where that can be a relevant removal spell. Uh, rest in peace uh, for our, our next one. Three drop forward, 5,000. As a field, search for Ida and add it to your hand. Uh, and then if a card named Ida deals damage to a forward, increase the damage by 2,000 instead. So very quickly, you can, you can understand how they're going to go together. Uh, obviously, you don't want to always have them in the same deck. And you're going to be able to increase her power for a second effect. So another card that you're going to want to get the full effect on and just search her up when you want to. Uh, going on to some of the other cards, and these are all just going to be common cards now from Opus 5. Uh, and then the various sets, so we have Miner starting off, uh, a great card, I gotta say, being able to be very versatile in what you're getting back and can help you get off extra S's in a pinch. So we have two of those. Uh, two Vanilla Black Belts, nothing really to talk about there. Two Evokers. Uh, Dark Knight with the new border, coming from Opus 2. A uh, guy that, there's a, the whole theme of Dark Knights that say, hey, as you take more damage, we're gonna get stronger. Great to see that back again. Uh, Monk, a great card just in general, and again, love that it has the new border on it. Probably one of the more popular monks to play because it gives Braven such a huge power boost. Uh, Atomos, Pugilist, and Banga Thief should be the last one, yes. Uh, Alice, we have the lightning side of it now. Uh, and if you control Alphanod, the cost of playing her is reduced by one. The job science on Dawn control gain haste. Uh, so giving everyone haste, as you'd imagine, is going to be extremely powerful. Uh, in this deck. Now, yes, it is only going to be the jobs, but hey, we are probably going to be playing enough of them uh, to get the effect off and make it worthwhile. Uh, Alphanod, unfortunately, not going to be that great. Um, it, it can help make the other cost card cost less, but I'm not sure that's enough to warrant in the deck. Uh, choose an active forward, deal 1,000 damage. If you control a job, Scion, deal it 2,000 instead. So, really nice ping effect, but we've seen this in, in other um, combinations where it could just be stronger for the and don't have to have that condition. And, well, it, we don't have any real reason for the backup bonus, so it's just going to get a pass for now. Uh, your ranger enters the field, choose a monster in your break zone. If, if the cost is equal to or less the number of jobs, signs you have, play it out in the field. So I love this one in combination with the Black Knight. Now, I'm not sure that a Earth Lightning control deck is going to be there. Uh, thinking back to more towards the Ultima Sia control deck that we featured however long ago. Now, um, this is kind of the new direction that I would at least take it in initially. It's going to take a lot of brewing, a lot of work to make this all come together, but there might be something there worth investigating. And then getting back into some more of the just common units, we have some Rav Ravenger, some Dragoons, uh, Louis Swab, which uh, searches for the other two, the twins in, the, in this case. So a nice, nice that I can search them up and find your haste back up, but we need, I think we need a few more Scions to really get that uh, going. Uh, Odin, which again, I absolutely love seeing this in the new border. I think it looks so much better, and I'm probably going to end up trying to find a set of these just so I have them uh, between locals. Some evokers, the last card's sticking together here. Dragoon, Ninja, and Yaman for the monster. So that is it, guys. That is the Final Fantasy 14 Scion deck. And I gotta say that I am really excited for this one, at least personally, because it does seem to have more of a uh, control flavor to it. 
and I'm really gonna be interested to see in kind of what other scions we get down the road now. Is there enough right now for this deck to survive? And I'm not quite sure. We've, we've seen this an issue with cadets where even, even though cadets are getting more support this set in the form of just general type zero cards, they're now other job classes so they don't uh, work that well with one another. And I think Square Enix is doing this as an intentional balance act, not only because obviously in the game they're from different uh, teams, if you will, just from a simplistic standpoint, but if you print too much of a good thing <laughs> at night, uh, you're going to hit this snowball effect where it's just going to be a very strong tribal-based deck, which, yes, I do love, but I understand where Square Enix can make that decision where they just want to make sure that we're, they're keeping the power in check. So if you like this video, guys, make sure to drop us a like. helps us out town ton. Comment down below what deck you're going to make with Job Sign. Are you going to go with Control Route? Are you going to just beat him up aggro haste deck? Let us know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for future Final Fantasy trading card game content. So on behalf of myself and the rest of the Six Ages Gaming crew, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. This video made possible thanks to our Patreon supporters. Thank you to our honorary sages.